Karis, you're kind of wrapping up a segment down there tonight with the, the end of the seeding round. 37 points for you. Uh, the team finishes five and three. How would you kind of sum up these eight games for yourself and the team in terms of expectations that you guys set and things you wanted to accomplish? I feel like as a team, uh, we got better each and every game. Um, and that's what we wanted to do when we came down here. You know, we were a new group. Um, and obviously, we, we knew we had a lot to, to accomplish in order to, you know, keep the seventh spot and um, get some momentum going into the playoffs. And I think we did that. Um, I'm proud of this group for that. But, you know, the job's still not done. You know, we have a, a tough series coming up against Toronto, and that's what we're looking forward to right now. Greg Logan. Uh, Karis, a uh, two-part question for me. First, on the final shot, you dribbled out there, running down the clock. A lot of times, I think you might have driven. Why did you choose to step back? That's number one. And number two, was there something about the matchup with Lillard tonight that inspired your play and kind of brought the best out in you? Um, as far as the shot, you know, I just try to read the defense. You know, I feel like they were playing the drive. I got to watch it again. Um, but these are all shots I practice each and every day. So. I live with that shot. Um, as far as the matchup, you know, Dame is right now playing the best basketball in the world. So um, obviously that's a matchup that you know, I, I'm going to take serious. And we took serious going into the game as a team. Um, and he did what great players do. He still he still got off. He still led his team to a victory. Uh, so hats off to him. You know, he's a great player, obviously. Um, but I love, those, I love those matchups. Matt Sullivan. Karis, you and JV have been close going back a while, but through this uh, kind of long season, now that we're here at the end of this this endless regular season, is there something he said to you in the beginning of the season and something he said to you now that, that reflects how much you two have grown together through all this thick and thin? I don't think it's something that he said. I think it's just the everyday conversation we have, you know, the everyday. Um, you know, he's still my development coach, and we still work out each and every day as if he was, you know, the assistant coach. So he's still in drills with me. He's still doing my pregame, you know, rituals and things like that. So I wouldn't say it's just one thing that he said. I feel like just that everyday camaraderie, you know, we trust each other. Uh, we know what each one brings to the table each and every day. Um, and we've been getting it done, and we look forward to uh, the series against the Raptors. Nick? Chris, you, you guys obviously knew what was being said about you all coming into the bubble. How much pride do you take in being able to come together, a lot of guys not even being on the roster, throughout the season and playing as hard as you have as consistently as you have over the last few weeks? It's our job, man. We have a lot of pride in this locker room. Uh, it's a lot of professionals in this in this locker room. You know, a lot of guys who are overlooked. Um, and we take it personal. You know, we hear all the noise that people are saying. You know, we were supposed to go 0-8 or whatever it was, 1-7. So uh, we, we come to work each and every day. We take pride in what we do. And we go out there and win in place. Um, you know, obviously we wanted to get that one tonight, but hats off to Portland, they played a great game.